A few years ago, the Lord um, put me on a mission to write this book titled Make Me a House of Prayer. And during the time of writing that book, he gave me this revelation about prayer. He said that, hey, hallelujah, he said that prayer, it has three levels to it. There is the outer court, the inner court, and the holy place. He compared it to the tabernacle. And he said, most of the time we spend praying in the outer court area where we're dealing with our flesh, where we're dealing with our needs, where we're dealing with me, my, and I. Um, And so God is looking for us to graduate uh, where we get into the holy place, you know, and then where we, um, when we get into the holy place, you know, it becomes less about us and more about um, what his will is in the earth. And we talk target on things that um, God is interested in. We're asking the Holy Spirit to lead us in prayer, to guide us. We may not even pray about our needs because we know the scripture says, take no thought for your life. What will you eat? What will you drink? What will you wear? Because the Gentiles or unbelievers uh, focus on these things. And then when we get into, oh, and then when we graduate to the next level, the third level, then we can have immediate access to the presence of God and do quick requests. Uh, We see quick turnarounds, quick answers to prayer, quick things happen very quickly because we're in a constant flow of his presence. Um, We learn how to pray without ceasing. Our spirit man turns into that house of prayer where we're constantly and continually in the face of the Lord, constantly um, um, remembering reminding ourselves that we're his vessels and worship is not a, um, not a standby thing, but it's a continual practice. So we got to press ourselves to graduate from our needs, our fleshy needs. God will take care of us. If we take care of his business, he will take care of ours. You can, you can take it to the bank. It's guaranteed. God will not lie. And he is true to his word. The righteous will never be forsaken, nor his seed beg bread. It's time to graduate.